What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I go about writing guitar solos inspired from Tim Henson, Manuel Gardner Fernandez, and Ichiganito. So, just like most of you watching, we are not really that good at playing the guitar. So instead, being a producer, we can actually program it instead. And for that, I use Ample Guitar and I'm using Ample Guitar for a year now. And I write solos that sound like this. So in this video, I'm gonna make a phrase or a solo just from a chord progression and see how it goes. So let's jump into it. First of all, we have this really simple chord progression. It is right here. So first of all, I'll have two instances of Ample Guitar TC. This is what I'm using. And I'm just using the direct out. I have every effects off in here. The amp is off, the reverb delay is off, which is on by default, but I turn them off because we're gonna use an external amp for that. So I made two instances of Ample Guitar because one is gonna be the main melody line and another one is gonna be the chords. For the chords, we'll just have these chords copied onto this. So good, so realistic, love it. We're gonna add some rhythm to it. So after giving our chord some rhythm, it sounds like this. So now we have to adjust the velocity to make it sound a little more realistic. We have the slap sound on the 5th F sharp, so this is the... Okay, so after adding a rhythm to the chords and the slap that we were talking about, it sounds like this. Now it's time to add the actual top line. Okay, so I have a melody idea. Let me draw it real quick. Okay, so this is how the melody sounds right now. Time to give the melody a little more character and make it sound more realistic. So let's do that. First of all, I want a slider, which we can do by adding an articulation. As you can see here, the ones marked in blue are different articulations. This one's, this one's open, this one's harmonic, this one's mute, this one's... Uh, the, the slider we were talking about so let's go and add this so here is D sharp 0 add this on the note I feel like these four notes can have different articulations so let's add some so I made the first note being mute second note open and the third note a harmonic again a slide here I'm gonna add those muted strums that Manuel Gardner Fernandez does a lot. So after adding some articulations and some muted effects and harmonies to the notes, it sounds like this now. So to make it more realistic, we need to adjust the velocity again. So let's just do that. Okay, so after adjusting the velocities and offsetting some of the notes, it sounds like this now. I 
also adjusted some of the notes in the chords as well like i muted the high notes because if you think it in the real way it's kind of impossible stretching your hand to that extent to make it sound more realistic and not too crowded i muted these notes and I also removed a lot of these slaps to make space for the melody. Okay, so for the post-processing, we're gonna add an amp. For me, I'm using Guitar Rig 6. And these are the settings if you wanna copy it. It's already sounding so much like Tim Henson and Manuel Gardner Fernandez. Now we're gonna add the multi-voicer effect that Tim Henson uses a lot in his songs. <laughs> He does that using the multi voicer feature in his plugin archetype Tim Henson, but that shit is mad expensive. So we are gonna use a workaround for that. What we are gonna do is render out this melody first, and now we're gonna add a vocoder. For me, I'm gonna use Harmony Engine. I'm gonna choose a uh, metabolic chord via MIDI. We're gonna make a MIDI track, call it Vocoder MIDI, and basically send it to the harmony engine it's going to harmony engine and now what we are going to do is drag these piano chords onto this midi channel it's really messing up in this part because of the additional notes so i'm gonna just remove it This one harmony engine is really weak in my opinion. So I'm gonna add another vocoder. I'm just gonna duplicate these tracks. And this time I'm gonna remove harmony engine and add more folder by waves. I'm gonna enable the MIDI. I'm gonna send this to more folder. So now it sounds like this. There are different sounds that we can choose from here. can take out the lows from the more photo signal let's see how it layers with our top line it sounds so good to make this guitar a little more interesting i'm gonna accentuate some of the flex bit which are the rapid strums or some pickup melody lines so we're gonna render this once again and just pick out the part that we think that we should accentuate. That's a pickup line. This is a fill. Okay, so these are the parts that we're gonna accentuate. So for that, we're gonna bit crush it. That's something I like to do at least. I'm gonna use the kilohertz as bit crusher. I'm gonna also add a pitch shifter, which is gonna be an octave higher with 50% mix. I'm gonna take out the multi voices from this part. Okay, so that's probably it. Okay, so that's what I did to make the solos in a lot of the songs that I showed you earlier and what I do now as well. And with this technique, I really get to achieve that Tim Henson-esque sound without actually knowing how to play the guitar as insanely as him. And this is how our final guitar loop sounds like. So that's how I go about writing a guitar solo like Tim Henson, Manuel Gardner Fernandez, Ichiga Nito. Hope you learned something. If you did, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next Friday. Bye bye.